the Gospel of Mary. Narrated by Matthew Schmitz. The Savior discusses the nature of matter with the disciples. Will matter then be utterly destroyed or not? The Savior replied, Every nature, every modeled form, every creature exists in and with each other. They will dissolve again into their own proper root, for the nature of matter is dissolved into what belongs to its nature. Whoever has ears to hear should hear. The Nature of Sin and the Good Then Peter said to him, You have been explaining every topic to us. Tell us one other thing. What is the sin of the world? The Savior replied, There is no such thing as sin. Rather, you yourselves are what produces sin when you act in accordance with the nature of adultery, which is called sin. For this reason, the good came among you, pursuing the good that belongs to every nature. It will set it within its root. Then he continued. He said, This is why you get sick and die, because you love what deceives you. Anyone who thinks should consider these matters. Matter gave birth to a passion that has no image because it derives from what is contrary to nature. A disturbing confusion then occurred in the whole body. That is why I told you, become content at heart while also remaining discontent. Indeed, become contented only in the presence of every true image of nature. Whoever has ears to hear should hear. The Savior's Farewell When the Blessed One had said these things, he greeted them all. Peace be with you, he said. Acquire my peace within yourselves. Be on your guard so that no one deceives you by saying, Look over here, or look over there, for the child of humanity exists within you. Follow it. Those who search for it will find it. Go then, preach the good news about the kingdom. Do not lay down any rule beyond what I determined for you, nor promulgate law like the lawgiver, or else you might be dominated by it. After he said these things, he departed from them. Mary comforts the other disciples. But they were distressed and wept greatly. How are we going to go out to the rest of the world to announce the good news about the kingdom of the child of humanity, they said. If they didn't spare him, how will they spare us? Then Mary stood up. She greeted them all addressing her brothers and sisters. Do not weep and be distressed, nor let your hearts be irresolute, for his grace will be with you all and will shelter you. Rather, we should praise his greatness, for he has prepared us and made us human beings. When Mary said these things, she turned their heart toward the good, and they began to debate about the words of the Savior. Peter asks Mary to teach. Peter said to Mary, Sister, we know that the Savior loved you more than all other women. Tell us the words of the Savior that you remember, the things you know that we don't because we haven't heard them. Mary responded, I will teach you about what is hidden from you. And she began to speak these words to them. Mary discusses vision and mind. She said, I saw the Lord in a vision, and I said to him, Lord, I saw you today in a vision. He answered me, Blessed are you for not wavering at seeing me. For where the mind is, there is the treasure. I said to him, So now, Lord, does a person who sees a vision see it with the soul or with the spirit? The Savior answered, A person does not see with the soul or with the spirit. Rather, the mind, which exists between these two, sees the vision, and that is what. Mary describes the ascent of the soul. It 
And Desire said, I did not see you go down, yet now I see you go up, so why do you lie, since you belong to me? The soul answered, I saw you, you did not see me, nor did you know me. You mistook the garment I wore for my true self, and you did not recognize me. After it had said these things, it left, rejoicing greatly. Again, it came to the third power, which is called ignorance. It examined the soul closely, saying, Where are you going? You are bound by wickedness. Indeed, you are bound. Do not judge. And the soul said, Why do you judge me, since I have not passed judgment? I have been bound, but I have not bound anything. They did not recognize me but I have recognized that the universe is to be dissolved, both the things of earth and those of heaven. When the soul had brought the third power to naught, it went upward and saw the fourth power. It had seven forms. The first form is darkness. The second is desire. The third is ignorance. The fourth is zeal for death. The fifth is the kingdom of the flesh. The sixth is the foolish wisdom of the flesh. The seventh is the wisdom of the wrathful person. These are the seven powers of wrath. They interrogated the soul. Where are you coming from, human killer? And where are you going, destroyer of realms? The soul replied, saying, What binds me has been slain, and what surrounds me has been destroyed and my desire has been brought to an end, and ignorance has died. In a world, I was set loose from a world and in a type, from a type that is above, and from the chain of forgetfulness which exists in time. From this hour on, for the time of the due season of the age, I will receive rest in silence. After Mary said these things, she was silent since it was up to this point that the Savior had spoken to her. The Disciples' Dispute Over Mary's Teaching Andrew responded, addressing the brothers and sisters, Say what you will about the things she has said, but I do not believe that the Savior said these things, for indeed these teachings are strange ideas. Peter responded, bringing up similar concerns. He questioned them about the Savior. Did he, then, speak with a woman in private without our knowing about it? Are we to turn around and listen to her? Did he choose her over us? Then Mary wept and said to Peter, My brother Peter, what are you imagining? Do you think that I have thought up these things by myself in my heart, or that I am telling lies about the Savior? Levi answered, speaking to Peter, Peter, you have always been a wrathful person. Now I see you contending against the woman, like the adversaries. For if the Savior made her worthy, who are you then for your part to reject her? Assuredly, the Savior's knowledge of her is completely reliable. That is why he loved her more than us. Rather, we should be ashamed we should clothe ourselves with the perfect human, acquire it for ourselves as he commanded us, and announce the good news, not laying down any other rule or law that differs from what the Savior said. After he said these things, they started going out to teach and to preach. The Gospel According to Mary